Disorders of sodium are actually disorders of water. That is to say, sodium is a reflection of the tonicity of the blood. So if you don't have enough stuff in the blood, or you have too much water, you'll be hypotonic and hyponatremic. Conversely, if you have too much stuff, or not enough water, you're going to have hypernatremia. Let's see if we can put this into perspective by revisiting the basic sciences and going over how our body is arranged. Our body is set up something like this. The blood and the cells are separated by a semi-permeable membrane with the same amount of stuff on either side and same amount of water. All this white space, water. These circles is the stuff. We live isotonic. That is, the stuff in the blood is the same as the stuff in the cells, and the tonicity is the same. And it's that way because of the semi-permeable membrane. Now, if you had too much stuff, hypernatremia, there's more stuff in the blood than there is in the cells. And water is going to go to an area of higher concentration. So, water is going to leave the cells across that semi-permeable membrane and into the blood. The impact that this has is that the cells are going to shrink. This balances out the water, but cell shrinkage is no good. That's going to provoke some symptoms. Conversely, on the other hand, if you had hyponatremia, you had too little stuff in the blood. Now there's more water in the blood than in the cells, and because it's a semi-permeable membrane, the water is going to go into the cells. Too much water in cells leads to swelling. Swelling of cells is bad. Shrinkage of cells is bad. They both lead to symptoms. But the symptoms the person is going to feel, or that you're going to notice in a patient, is going to be dependent on calculus. And what I mean by that is it's all about the delta. It's the change of sodium over the change in time. That is, how severe the sodium change is relative to how fast that change occurs that is going to cause how bad the symptoms are going to be. So if your sodium shift is big and the amount of time it takes to get there is fast, the body is not going to have time to adjust and the symptoms are going to be worse. If the sodium shift is small and it takes a long time to get there, then the body has a chance to adjust and the symptoms may be not present at all.